Hey guys, Avi with you here, and today I'm going to be breaking down the USA Today article about coconut oil. So, let's get started. Okay guys, we've got a ton of comments about this. Everyone's asking about coconut oil, and a lot of people have asked and even taken down their comments after we've replied to them because of the controversy behind the article. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you guys how to read an article, how to break down an article, and know if an article is actually legitimate or not, or if it's just propaganda uh, and a whole lot of rubbish. So over here, I want to bring up the article, and I'm going to read it on my phone just because it's easier for me to do on the screen. So the first thing you want to do when you see an article is obviously see who posted it. The article is by USA Today, and the report is from the American Heart Association. When you are looking at an article, you want to look at who wrote the article, and then why you wrote the article. Let's just go from the top down. So it says, The American Heart Association recently released a report advising against the use of coconut oil. It says, The Dietary Facts and Cardiovascular Disease Advisory reviewed existing data on saturated fat, showing that uh, it increases your LDL, which is the bad cholesterol, out of 7 out of 7 controlled studies. Straight away, guys, you can see from the start, it says reviewing existing data. So, obviously, you can go find, you have to find out where the existing data came from, what are the stipulations behind, um, like, the controls in for those reports, date back to the 1950s and 60s when the saturated fat research was done. So it also says that researchers didn't see a difference between coconut oil and other oils high in saturated fat like butter, beef fat, palm oil, etc. They're saying that saturated fat is all the same regardless of where it comes from and that 82% of uh, coconut oil is saturated fat, which is true. 82% of coconut oil is saturated fat because coconut oil increases LDL, cholesterol, a cause of cardiovascular disease and has no known offset favorable effects, we advise against the use of coconut oil. Stop the madness. <laughs> right, okay, sure. We'll just, we'll just pass that one off. Obviously, you want to have a look at that, what they said in their study. You're going to go, Frank Sachs is the leading author. Uh, he has no idea why people think that coconut oil is healthy. The reason coconut oil is so popular for weight loss is partially due to the research on medium chain glycerides. Coconut oil has a higher proportion of medium chain glycerides than most other fats or oils. And my research showed eating medium chain glycerides may increase the rate of metabolism more than eating long chain glycerides, which is perfectly accurate. We talk about that on the channel all the time. Medium chain glycerides are great for boosting metabolism. The problem, he says, is that designer oils packed with 100% MCTs are good, but traditional coconut oil is just 13, 15%. Again, we talk about it on the channel as well. We like to use the MCT because it is pure MCT, and the coconut oil does have MCT, but it is right, it has 13 to 15%. Before you trash the coconut oil, know that saturated fat is a loaded term, while the American Heart Association warns it people who cut saturated fat out of their diet might not necessarily lower their risk of heart disease. Well, that's interesting. That's because some people fill the void with sugar, white flour, and empty calories. Also, some fat is important to help bodies absorb nutrients from other foods. So, basically, what that point is saying is that it doesn't really matter if you eat saturated fat or not, you're still just as likely to get heart disease. If you read the article and you did read this part of the article and you still think coconut oil is bad, then that's just silly. As we go on, still, it might not be a bad idea to opt for vegetable oils, um, plus coconut oil can still be an effective moisturizer, so you can put it on your body, but don't put it in your body. Right. So now that I've read it, let's go check out the American Heart Association and see what they are up to. So the American Heart Association is a non-for-profit organization that is into heart research, cardiovascular research. So this means that they're publicly funded. So they're sponsored and funded by the public, and I'm sure big companies are going to be funding them too. Let's go see who their major sponsors are. This is very interesting. 
three of their major sponsors. Well, the one that's most sent out the most is Bayer. That's very interesting. Cheerios and Subway. So let's have a go have a look at Bayer. Bayer, the drug company, as you guys may know, is a proud supporter of the American Heart Association. Bayer will donate five cents of every bag of Liberty Link soybean seed sold up to half a million dollars to the AHA's movement. Right, so they're going to sell their soybean seeds, five cents of every, every soybean bag they sell, up to half a million dollars to the Health Association. Hmm, that's very interesting. So let's just go and see about Bayer. Let's just go see who they are. And let's see if they would have any interest in publishing an article saying that coconut oil is bad. Okay, so Bayer is a drug company out of Germany. They do pharmaceuticals for human, veterinarian, and they do agriculture. Okay, so, and they also are run on the stock market. So they are in it to make money. They have a stock market, they're trying to make money. And they look like they're a multi-billion dollar company. Oh, revenue is 46 billion euros, which is a heck of a lot. So this is a big company. You know, these are the people that are funding this research. Uh, Bayo is best known for aspirin, birth control. It made heroin. And they made the gas that killed the Jews in the Holocaust. Okay. Oh, here we go. The acquisition of Monsanto. Turns out that Bayer tried to purchase Monsanto, and now Monsanto and Bayer are one company working together. So, those of you that know who Monsanto is, Monsanto is the company that created Roundup, and um, they make genetically modified food and crops. Okay, so, basically, Bayer and Monsanto are working, working together. So, I'm thinking that these guys are going to have some sort of um, effect on having data put out saying that their vegetable oil is good because they own vegetable oil, they're worth billions of dollars, and they would want the public to be spending their money on vegetable oils rather than spending it on coconut oils. So the legitimate things on here and articles linked are completely incorrect. That's just super shady. Obviously, you know who Cheerios are. Cheerios are a cereal company. They're going to want you to have their cereal because they have corn and gluten-free products now. And even though they're gluten-free, they're made with genetically modified crop. And then Subway, the see of this article is drying up pretty quick because public funding is from people that are trying to make money out of it. There's a lot of other things in here. You guys can go read up on Bayer. And for those that are going to say Wikipedia isn't a good source, Wikipedia has links to other articles, it's a combination, and for a big company like this, I doubt that the evidence and findings on here and articles linked are completely incorrect. That's just super shady. Obviously, you know who Cheerios are. Cheerios are a cereal company. They're going to want you to have their cereal because they have corn and gluten-free products now, and even though they're gluten-free, they're made with genetically modified crop. And then Subway is another one that is a buy into this. Subway obviously is invested in low calorie foods, saturated fat or any fat for that matter uh, has a high calorie content due to its macronutrient value of 9. So of course Subway doesn't want you having uh, high saturated high fat because they want to have a low calorie agenda. So the whole thing is tarnished with Funding from people that have agendas and the public are just going to see this article and be like, oh, I shouldn't have coconut oil. But when you look into it, you got to see the agenda behind it. Why is this article being published? So guys, this, as we talk about all the time, in the 70s, the sugar industry paid off scientists to say that saturated fat or fat was bad for you in general. Uh, and that started the whole low fat epidemic. Since the 70s and 80s, the increase of heart disease, diabetes, obesity has been on the rise. And this is mainly due to the fact, not of consumption of food, consumption of sugar. Sugar, high carbohydrate diets, low fat diets. And guys, fat is an essential part of the body. You must understand this and that your body, every cell is made up of fat. There is a fat cell in every cell and... Vitamins D, E, A, and K are fat soluble. So if you're not eating fat, you're on a low fat diet, you are unable to get 
those vitamins into your body because they're fat soluble. They're only found in fat. Where the fat issue comes in is, it's not to do with saturated fat or unsaturated fat, it's to do with omegas. The omega-6 to the omega-9 ratio. The Western diet has far too many omega-6s in it, even 50 to 1 to omega-3s. If you want to improve your health, you want to lower your omega-6 intake and up your omega-3 intake. That's going to be the best way to get a healthy blend of fats in. And so guys, we use fat in all of our recipes. We use coconut oil in all of our recipes. And there is so many of you, there are over 300,000 of you that have used their recipes to subscribe to our channel and are loving our meal preps. Now guys, I'm looking at the Fit Fam. To all the lovely, wonderful subscribers that leave us comments and support and have lost weight and are achieving your fitness goals, this part is for you. Keep doing what we're doing. Keep loving the videos and don't worry about propaganda that's put out on the internet. You guys are doing the right thing and we have been using coconut oil for a very, very long time and I get my blood tests every six months and I can tell you now my LDL is totally fine and I have at least a tablespoon of coconut oil every day and I'm sure you can find a bunch of other YouTubers or other people out there that are on ketogenic diets that are eating far more coconut oil than Steph and I are and are far, far healthier than the average person. So, to all the people that are believers in GMO, that love GMO foods, that are going to absolutely attack this video, feel free to comment below and have a go. We love seeing you guys go crazy down there. But to the Fit Fam, to the fans that love and support us, please, please hit that like button. We want to see you guys like and support this video. And please use the hashtag, leave a comment, and just hashtag FitCoupleCooks. You haven't got to put any comments other than saying great video if you want. But for new people that come here, I just want them to see that the Fit Fam, people that love and support us, are in the comments supporting each other. So if you do love and support our content, please just leave a comment, hit the like button, and just comment hashtag fit couple cooks, and let's just have a huge thread of that hashtag in there, and let's just let the people that are going to hate, let them hate. Don't, fe don't fuel them, don't comment back to them, let them comment their propaganda, and guys, let's just love each other, and have a great day. See you next time, guys. Namaste.